Look at my big old bag of spinach. And maybe if I cut them up really small, he'll like them. <laughs> you wanna eat some? When the toes get going, he's excited. What is this green stuff? What is this? Try this bite that I get for you. Uh... Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the world's okayest mom, and I have a very picky eater. I feel like there's always at least one in each house. In our case, it's my son Wyatt. He's not very into experimenting or trying new things, so I wanna challenge myself. I am going to try to get him to eat a vegetable in every meal for one entire week. So let's see if I can pull this off, wish me luck. So let's get into the rules. I can hide the veggies however I see fit. I can get as creative as I want in the execution. I'm going to focus on vegetables that both boys have previously refused to even taste. I'm going to tell the boys that I'm trying a week of new recipes, new and exciting foods, so that A, they're excited to try my food, and B, they don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna show you every single meal of every single day because then this video would be 40 minutes long. And if at the end of this week, the boys liked more foods than they disliked, I'm going to treat the entire family to their favorite takeout because I need a break from cooking. This is going to be a lot of cooking. I'm gonna show you how I make a smoothie with vegetables. The smoothie consists of frozen banana, frozen blueberries, frozen cauliflower. It's a perfect smoothie addition because it blends really nicely and adds great texture. Because I have the wild blueberries, they make the smoothie really dark, so I can add some spinach and nobody really minds. Top it off with some milk of your choice. Add some protein powder. This just makes it a heartier smoothie. And then I added my secret ingredient, which is spirulina. It's super nutrient rich, and you only need a tiny amount to get all of the nutrients that it delivers. Something very compelling for my kids is when you title the food like it's something special and thematic. It looks black. Black? So this is a witch's brew smoothie. It tastes like cantaloupe. Sure. As long as you're drinking it, it can taste like whatever you want. That, my friends, is the face of a satisfied customer. You're dancing with your smoothie. The boys loved it. Day one, safe bet, success. On to day two. I love beets. They have a nice texture and flavor, in my opinion. My kids do not agree, but I figured day two, let's go for it. The time of day that the boys are most hungry is breakfast, so if I'm trying something that I'm not so sure about, that's probably the optimal time to do it because they're very hungry. I mix the beets with Greek yogurt and some water and I use that in my protein pancake mix. And what it created was this beautiful pink color, which is super appetizing. It looked like a candy color. The only thing I wasn't quite sure about was whether or not you could taste the beets because I did add quite a few. I went a little too healthy on this one, but they'll be fine. See Rex? All right, go ahead. This looks good. Mm. You like it? Mmm, that's good. Just wailing for more. It's good, huh? I will be making these again, absolutely. Day two, I was on a roll, so I decided to try something a little more difficult. Day three, I decided to bring back an old friend of mine. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's an impasse. The spaghetti squash. A long time ago, I decided to try that and they loved it. And then Matt chimed in. Matt turns to them and says, yeah, and you know that's squash, right? They both push their plates away and will never taste it again. <sighs> I thought he had my back. I figured it had been enough time since the spaghetti squash incident of 2017 that I could bring it back. I'm gonna cut this in half, coat it in olive oil and seasoning, pop it in the oven, and then let the magic happens. Now the beauty of these is that you just take a fork and shred it, and then toss it in some marinara. Oh man, it looks pretty good. I served dinner and then went and put Henry to bed, so I didn't get the genuine reaction of the boys eating the food. You like it? Yeah. Oh, really good. And they didn't complain. I don't think they were thrilled. I think it's something we could do again. But the person who enjoyed it the most was the person who ratted me out all those years ago. I ate three plates. Delicious. So I will categorize that as a win 
move on to day four. Let's make ramen. I swear every time I get super confident days one, two, and three, and then day four, I get very humbled. Wyatt loves ramen. Don't come for me. It's very bland looking. I know. He has a bland palate. We are working on it, hence this video. Try to add some veggies into it and see if he notices. And maybe if I cut him up really small, he'll like them. I added way too much. Whoops, but this is with the spinach. It's a lot. I probably did a little too much. Maybe I'm the reason why my kids won't eat certain foods because I overdo it. Why is there green stuff? Oh, for extra seasoning and flavor. Should I make this again? Just like that? What do you think, Jackson? It's delicious. <laughs> I think it only worked because I chopped the spinach up really tiny. Now, if I had served my kids, full leaves of cooked spinach, they would have gagged until they threw up at the dinner table. It has happened before. Day four, I overshot it a bit, but we made it through and they ate it. My next food I'm going to tackle is sweet potatoes. Wyatt really doesn't like these. I had the thought of adding sweet potatoes into pumpkin bread. The flavors of pumpkin and sweet potato are kind of similar so it would probably blend in really well. I'm gonna grate some sweet potatoes into this pumpkin bread mix and bake them off like muffins. I think it'll be good. And this is when my cover was almost blown. It's muffins. But what is this? Kids hover. My children hover like vultures every time I'm preparing food. I'm hungry. Wait for the muffins, okay? Let's sweeten the deal. Those dinosaur picks have been a game changer. It really makes any meal exciting for them. Mmm. That's it's good. amazing. It's amazing? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm gonna try this one. I'm excited. Tasty! The muffins were a resounding success. Henry even got to taste it. I did feel like I cheated a little bit in that one because the food was borderline dessert. So I tacked another meal on to the week. It is pasta night 2.0. I have some pasta boiling. I also have some zoodles, half and half. It's like a hybrid pasta dish. I'm also going to add some riced cauliflower to the sauce. So it's double veggie night. And because I know how much of a meat lover Wyatt is, I topped it off with meatballs. Uh... And he would not even touch the noodles. No, the green stuff. Try this bite that I get for you. It just has a little seasoning on it, okay? What do you think? How'd it taste? Mm. Good, okay, are you gonna finish it? On to meatballs. He said that he liked it, but what he liked was the meatballs. He didn't really eat the pasta. We all have wins and we all have losses, but overall, I'm still doing well. I'm in my robe because I'm feeling fancy because today we're gonna try something a little bit difficult and I just wanna be as comfortable as possible. One food that I can never get Wyatt to even attempt to try is Brussels sprouts. I decided to treat the Brussels sprouts like a vegetable crouton of sorts. So I cut them up pretty small, seasoned them generously, and roasted them that way so they got extra crispy, extra flavorful. My boys love Caesar salad, so I decided I was going to take these crispy, shaved Brussels sprouts and incorporate them in a Caesar salad. Why I mixed a vegetable within another vegetable, I don't know. I also made so many Brussels sprouts. It was more Brussels sprouts than lettuce, so it did not fool them at all. Wyatt has a very specific order of eating when he doesn't like something on his plate. He goes for the meat first, carbs second, and then before he gets to the thing he doesn't like, he says he has to go to the bathroom. What is this? Oh, it's just part of the salad. Try it. That's not salad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, Wyatt! Jackson, my garbage disposal child, really enjoyed it. Ready? <laughs> go ahead. This coupon is a bell sprout. Your name is Coupon. I am done for the day. I'm going to bed. If Wyatt tries it and still doesn't like it, that's fair. Day six didn't go as planned. It was my own fault. I decided day seven, I needed to go out strong. Jackson hates mushrooms. Like if I want to really make him mad, I'll say, oh, I'm making yours with extra mushrooms. And he gets so upset. So I made 
hybrid patties that have really finely blended in them. So let me show you. Can you believe that these are plant-based? Don't <laughs> those look like real burgers? Let's see how it goes. And then to just secure my win, I topped them with the dinosaur toppers. I just want to eat it. Go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. You like it? You like the new recipes I'm trying? How's that burger treating you? It's really good. You notice anything different? What's different? What's Fred different? Isn't anything different? Nothing's different. Matt still doesn't know what I did to that burger. Matt has slowly become one of my other children. So day seven was a big, big win. Do you remember how I made all those special foods for you? Yeah. Did you like them a lot? Yeah. Okay, can I tell you a secret about them? What? Every meal had a veggie hidden inside. The pumpkin muffins I made I knew that. had sweet potatoes. But they were so yummy. <laughs> Do you want to know what was in the burgers? Yeah. Mushrooms. And you said you liked it. Am I being a sneaky mom? Sure, but sneaky for the right reasons. Did I win this challenge? Yes, the boys liked more food than they didn't like and they tried everything. So takeouts on me. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Hannah, and what did you think? Was I being a mean mom? Would you try any of the meals I made? Let me know on Instagram, and also message me if you have any other hidden veggie food ideas. And if you'll please excuse us, we're going to enjoy our favorite takeout. Look, you got some green in your bowl. Are you gonna eat that? This is salad. You gonna eat it? Yeah. Till next time.